I hope you all have enjoyed your Thanksgiving. But I'm going to do this before Thanksgiving. And I've been seeing a lot of people do pecan pie in the Facebook groups. And one of my favorite pies is pecan pie. I just love pecan pie. My One of my other favorites is my a pie I invented called uh, chocolate covered cherry pie. Maraschino cherry pie. And I'm going to put a link to that down in the comments below. I'm going to pin it up to the top because that's an, a pie I invented and it was inspired from as a kid we used to always at Christmas get a box of those chocolate covered cherries and uh, I made a pie that has that taste and it is delicious so I'm gonna that's one of my favorites now I, I've decided that every holiday season I'm gonna make one of those pies but this one today we're doing is uh, pecan pie and Pecan pie is very good if you have it warmed up and a scoop of vanilla ice cream on the top. So I think I am going to do a modification of that. We got a pecan pie here and some what I call what's called milk nog. Milk nog is just 50% uh, eggnog and 50% milk. Kind of thins it out a little bit. So that being thinner. It shouldn't be as hard so that when my pecan pie puffs up, that'll be a light texture and my eggnog will be a light texture. And I think those two flavors are going to go together really well. But I don't know. We'll have to find out. So I just bought a store-bought pie. And I think what I'm going to do is just take a spoon. I'm not going to put too much in, the, in, in these because it does blow up a little bit and drop a dollop of that making sure that I got at least some pecan in there in each one of these squares leaving room for the milk mug and I'm going to try to take it from one side that way if I got any leftover pie I can eat it You guys have a high high V store in your area they have the best pies now I'm trying not to get any crust on that but if you do get some crust it ain't gonna hurt nothing okay there we go and I got a little bit of pie left over we'll say we use a little bit over half of a pie Let's see if we can do this without making a mess. Like I say, you can buy I can buy you can buy this at the store. It's called milk log. Or you can make it yourself. All it is is eggnog, 50% eggnog, 50% milk. I think these flavors are going to go together very well. Spread that out, get it all, all nice and even. Maybe a little splash more in there. There. And as usual, John Bibbs has made a mess, so I got to clean all that up. But what I'll get, do is pop this in the freezer get it frozen solid and next thing you see me do we'll be bringing this out of the freezer and popping them out of the molds I'll see you then okay this has been in the freezer for 24 hours so let's get them out of the molds back into the freezer yeah some of this is pretty that pumpkin uh, pecan pie feeling is gonna expand because it's not frozen solid and this has been in the freezer for 24 hours 
so I know that that's going to expand. But luckily I didn't put too much in each little mold, so we should be alright. We'll find out. Alright, I'm going to get this back in the freezer for a little while before I fire up the freeze dryer and then wish me luck on these. I think they're going to expand a lot. Okay, check these out. My pecan pie eggnog bites. Now I'm noticing that they did pretty well. They didn't swell up as much as I thought they would. Of course, there is some puffing, so you want to be, if you use those molds, you want to be careful on how much you use of the pecan pie filling. But they seem to just break apart pretty nicely. Let's get a nice little thumbnail of that. And then we'll do a taste test. Okay, here we go. The great experiment. How does eggnog and pecan pie go together? Let's pick up a piece and see. have to let these cool down a little bit because that pecan center is not quite crunchy kind of a little chewy might just be because they're warm I am very happy with the flavor combination I'm thinking I'm gonna let these cool down for an hour or two and I might have to put these back in because they're a little bit chewy with the pecan pie fill the eggnogs dry as a bone the pecan pie filling is very nice if you weren't gonna do put these away for ever they'd probably be good just the way they are because it's a kind of like chewy oh it's a good texture I could say of that kind of like salt water taffy is before you freeze dry it the combination is beautiful though it puts you in mind a pecan pie with vanilla ice cream on the top. Yeah. Well, I'm very, very happy with this. What I'm going to do is let these sit out for a little while and see if they brittle up. Yeah. Or because they're warm now, right now. Or if not, I will pop them back in the freeze dryer probably just do a very quick rerun stick them in the freezer get them frozen solid and run them through it probably won't even take I should imagine several hours and that's it but I'll let you know what I did in the uh, comments I guess because I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video up and edit it and I'll probably just pin a pin a comment up at the top telling you whether or not they got hard after cooling down or if I had to add more time and if I added more time I'll let you know how much all right thanks thanks for watching and I'll see you next time and you might want to give these pecan pecan eggnog bites a try they taste delicious